In this video, I will be showing you how to change an instrument cluster bulb. Uh, this method will apply to a 99 Chevrolet Silverado, uh, 2000 to 2006 Tahoe and Suburban, and uh, it might even apply to the GMC Sierra of the uh, 2000 to 2002. I'm not exactly sure. I know it's. I wish I had uh, someone that had a GMC so I could tell you. Um, and I will actually be doing an LED swap, um, putting LEDs in instead of incandescent bulbs. But this uh, video is just showing you how you can change your bulbs out in case you have a burned out one or whatever you got to do. I hope this video helps. And if you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it. What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace a uh, uh, a burned out light you might have in your dash. As you can see I don't, but I'm going to show you how to replace them because it's actually a rather simple task and you might not know how to do that. <clears throat> so a um, couple tools you're going to need is a, uh, either a set of nut drivers or a, or a socket with a couple extensions. Um, maybe an interior panel tool if you happen to have one. You don't really need one. Um, and your keys to your truck, that's about all you'll need. And obviously a new bulb if you're gonna replace it. And uh, another reason you might wanna do this is you might want to, um, uh, you might want to uh, put LEDs in, um, in your dash. It's actually a rather simple task, as I said. Um, so let's get started. All right. Uh, first, just uh, tilt your wheel all the way down. Let me do that. Uh, I'll put it all the way down. And to tilt, obviously you just pull this forward. And uh, pull down until it locks. Um, you're going to want to just kind of start up here, up uh, in this separation right here, and just kind of get in there as best you can, just kind of pull um, like that. I know it sounds bad. Um, and work your way all the way around it over here in this corner. And just kind of work around, around the bottom. There's also one down here, I think. Maybe not. Okay, yep. And uh, you're also gonna need the keys, which is uh, one thing I forgot, and I'm gonna show you why right now. All right, so I went to get my keys. Um, I'm just gonna wanna, wanna turn your ignition on. Uh, you don't even have to turn it on all the way, actually. Um, and uh, put your foot on the brake, and turn it. You'll feel a little click. You can turn it all the way on, it doesn't really matter. Um, and basically all you gotta do is shift all the way down to first. As you can see, I'm in first. Keep your foot on the brake, or you can apply your parking brake. I actually don't have one, so that does me no good. <laughs> but uh, keep your foot on the brake, and now you're just gonna pull this panel up and over like so. And just kinda set it aside over there. And uh, now you got your front bezel off. Shift back and park, let off the brake and turn the key off. And uh, now we're moving right along. This is, um, now you just have to remove that, that bolt right there. One up there, one right there. There's four of them, one in each corner. Let's grab the tools we need. Um, it could be a 930 seconds, that might be it, I can't remember. Let's find out. So 930 seconds. There it is. It might actually be a seven millimeter. I don't happen to have one, but this actually will work. They're not in there that tight. So I decided to speed this section of this video up while I just removed the four bolts around your instrument cluster that I showed you earlier. I figured I'd speed this up for you guys to uh, keep the video short and easy to follow versus me shaking the camera all over the place so, um, just take them all the way out set them somewhere aside that you know where they are don't uh, don't lose them and uh, we will be uh, pulling it out here in just a couple seconds Uh, maybe from the top, I really uh, 
can't remember. You know what? Let's just put the truck back in first. It'll make it easier. Uh, I usually just turn it until my uh, lights come on the first thing. And then usually like right past there. Down the first. Pull it from the bottom up and out. Like so. There's your wiring harness. And uh, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand. But that'll do. Up and park. Shut the truck off. And uh, now your dash is pretty much out. So now we just got to unplug our harness, which all you have to do is um, grab on around here. It's uh, as you can see, that's what holds it. I'm gonna uh, maybe I can do it with one hand. Let's see. I sped this part up just so you don't have to watch me try to unplug this harness. It's hard with one hand. Okay, there it goes. Just like that. You and yes, you can unplug it. You can you can turn your truck on right now. It doesn't matter. Nothing's gonna happen. Um, you probably can start it actually. Um, I'm pretty sure I've done it before. But uh, that's how to remove your dash. You're not you're not gonna have you know nothing. It's gonna lock up or nothing like that. And you have done this many times. Um, and uh, now let's take it over to the workbench and I'll show you how to replace a light in it. Turn these off. So here's the workbench of shame. You can see a lot of junk laying around here. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me all right. I'm gonna kind of talk a little bit loud to drown out the noise of the heater. But um, so now you just take a little fill up, or excuse me, slot or flat head screwdriver and all these little clips around here kind of work them out just away from that and it's, it's hard to do with this it's gonna be difficult to do with one hand see if I can do it just kind of uh yeah see that one just clip back on um this might work just to kind of hold it there that'll work if you had two hands this will be much easier they're all the way around here so um, just kind of work on them, be careful not to break them, as if they're very delicate. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to see if I can set this camera up somewhere for you, hold on. Guys, I got my camera to stand up, now that I got two hands free, I should be able to do this pretty easily. For this, just gently work your way around it with a uh, flathead screwdriver. Don't break them. Be very gentle and work your way around it in a the And there it happened to come right off. This whole back cover comes right off the dashboard. And then you're left with the circuit board portion. As you can see, it's a circuit board up there. Here's your circuit board. Um, here's all your gauges, as you can see. Um, these lights up top are like your uh, your service engine soon, uh, stuff like that. Your ABS, service engine soon, your brake light. Okay, that's brake. Uh, brake, ABS, turn signal, and then turn signal over here. I forgot your service engine C lights in your message center, that's right. A um, couple of more lights you might have if you have, uh, you know, different things. There's a seat belt. Oh, wait. Where's the seat belt one? Maybe it's inside or something. Um, there's a parking, there's a brake light, there's a seat belt, turn signal. There's the other, oh, high beams. Turn signal, ABS. Service engine soon. Uh, four wheel drive. See, I don't know exactly. There might be, uh, you might have different lights for uh, maybe the newer trucks. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, but <laughs> you gotta figure out what lights out, and these are it right here. All they are is twist locks. So just as it sounds, twist, pull out. And uh, twist locks in. Um, one. Two, three, four, five, six lights is all you should have. You might have seven if you have a transmission temperature gauge, but 
I think it's still six lights. And uh, if you happen to have one of these bulbs out, you can buy this. This setup right here at uh, the Auto Zone or any auto place around you probably. It's a 194 and it has a twist lock base. That's what it's called. It's just a twist lock. These original bulbs are um, soldered in from GM, so you can't replace them. You might be able to, you might be able to get them out with a pair of pliers. Uh, mine aren't burnt out, so I'm not gonna try. <laughs> but um, otherwise, you can go with the alternative like I did and buy yourself new twist locks, and then you can put in any bulb you want. And I'll show you one. Here it is. These are black. I'll pull this out. Go, we'll put this in for you. Um, here's a blue LED I happen to have. Put that in the twist lock base. It's kind of hard with one hand again. Really tough with one hand actually. All right, there it is. This is an LED, uh, a blue LED actually. And then you twist it back in. And there it is, it's in. Now let's go test it out. And I'll shut my heater off. So you can hear me better. I hope, it, I hope you guys could make something out that I was saying. Um, I don't wanna fall on my bumper. All right. Let's try this light bulb out. Watch the door. All right. Now we'll just, you know, you gotta put your cluster all the way back in, just plug it in. Like down here. It's gonna be kind of tough again. With one hand. It's gonna be really tough, actually. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, got it upside down. Sorry if you can't see much, guys. This is really. Fucking difficult with one hand. Right. Plug it back in and try it. No, it's not working. Um, don't panic because LEDs only work one way. Um, meaning that there's a positive and negative for an LED. So if it doesn't work, take it out. Or actually, you don't gotta take it out. You can just flip the base around. I forgot with these, which I don't know if I flipped it now or not. <laughs> oh, no, I must not have. Um, hold on, it's tough, I'm flipping it around again, more, okay, hold on, make sure it's in this base, good, hold on guys, let me set my camera down, this is unbelievably tough, with that one hand, I'm gonna flip it around the base. Make sure she's got good contact. And, um, uh, okay. Oh gosh, dropped the camera. Oh, it just landed. Oh, it just landed in all that muddy water down there. Hold on. Oh gosh, that's gross. It's all dirty. Okay. Yeah, it zoomed all the way in now. Let's watch that. Temperature gauge, oops. There it is. It's on, you can see it now. And now you have one blue LED in. Let's go ahead and continue with the rest of this installation and to let you know how it goes. All right, so right here, I'm just removing the old 194 twist locks, the factory ones, and plugging in my new LED ones and uh, one at a time I'm doing this and I sped this video up so you can still see it but uh, so you know exactly what's going on and uh, in a couple of seconds I'll be plugging it in the truck and we'll be uh, getting them to work. As I said before, uh, LEDs have a positive and negative, so they only work with one when they're inserted one way. So in this video, I'm sitting here uh, getting them all to work uh, by t turning them around and then uh, turning them all around and checking to make sure they work. Uh, my twist slacks are a little old, so you kind of gotta 
Uh, they're kind of fidgety, if you know what I mean. I only can turn them like a quarter of a turn or so, and then they'll come on. So um, anyway, this video, then this next clip shows you the finished product. Yep, there it is. It's on. Um, what is that? I don't know what that is. Interesting. Let's shut this key off and try it again. Oh, just kidding. My key's not even on. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. H406. No. How did I do that? I think that's how many hours were on the engine. H. How did I do that? I'm going to hold it down again. Is that really how you do that? I held down my trip thing with my key off. 4,066.2. I wonder if that's how many hours are on it. That's crazy. That's a new find. I haven't had that. <laughs> Alright, anyway. um, That's weird. But, uh, yeah, let me shut my door so you don't have to hear this. Uh, oh, my lights are on. That's duh. Alright, but anyway. This is what a uh, Silverado LED conversion will look like with... Uh, Shoot, I'm sorry guys, this is really loud probably for you guys. Let me tilt up my wheels so you can see. Okay, this is what your dash will look like with the LEDs installed. It looks really good. Um, the MPH looks a little uh, missing, but uh, it looks really good. As you can see, it looks really nice. Um, that's enough of that. So yeah, um, that'll show you how to uh, remove or install new gauge um uh in instrument cluster leds and i guess if you're curious how many hours you have on your engine hold on your trip meter for a couple seconds i think that's how many hours you're trying to try that on your vehicle once just to see what it does i don't know if maybe you guys knew that i didn't though 4066.2 anyway so thank you guys for joining. I hope this helped. If you have any questions on this video, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them as best as I can. Thank you.